As if you needed reminding, that is the wet season. We saw those showers coming by, some of them turning heavy across Tobago and uh, Trinidad. Meanwhile, we still have a bud out there in the Pacific Ocean, which is eyeing Mexico for landfall. And we still have uh, those uh, tropical waves leaving Africa and heading for the Caribbean. But the good news is, is that most of those tropical waves coming by are encountering uh, the Saharan dust and some upper-level winds as well. So basically, they're not set to develop as we go through the next uh, few days. But they will generally do pass by and will increase the cloudiness, generate some showers as well and that's what we saw across uh, Trinidad and Tobago overnight so we could be seeing a bit less of that as we go through tonight and then into tomorrow some of that Saharan dust of following that tropical wave will likely turn skies hazy once again across Tobago through your morning and into the afternoon and it'll also be a fair amount of breeze as well now for Trinidad tonight, it's also going to be settling down, especially for northern and central areas. Maybe a few showers lingering along the south coast and into the western areas, but overall conditions will be improving as you go through your Thursday morning. So hazy sunshine will greet many of you through Turco down towards Sandy Grandi into Beach. A few brief showers are popping up during the morning and into the afternoon. Can't really get away from those, but the hazy sunshine will be there for central and southern Trinidad as well. So apart from the passing clouds and those brief showers, look for the the breeze to push in that Saharan dust through Rio Claro and then eventually out towards San Fernando. So temperature wise though we're looking at uh, obviously 33 degrees Celsius in Trinidad at least uh, for Thursday and going into Friday and then on Saturday and Sunday yet another tropical wave comes by and that will likely bring the possibility of uh, some heavier thundery showers especially for Trinidad and occasionally for Tobago through the weekend. Now, for fisher folk, you've been noticing those uh, fresh, strong easterly winds of 20 knots beginning to whip the seas again as you go through Thursday. Moderately choppy, to occasionally choppy, maybe even turning rough out in the Atlantic, two and a half meters, stretching to three meters at times. So be mindful about that as you head out. Now for the uh, Caribbean, we obviously been looking at uh, the tropical wave passing here as well. It did bring a few showers, but at least for the Greater Antilles, it's been mostly settled, if not a touch windy. Especially for Kingston, expecting more windy conditions through Thursday. A few passing showers for Havana, but uh, generally fair skies for Hispaniola with some hazy sunshine there. Also a lot more sunshine to come for the Leeward Islands out towards a... Uh, Castries and for St. Lucia and the Dominica, a few clouds are expected there. Down towards Ghana, it will continue to be rather damp and cloudy with a high of 30 degrees Celsius. Now there's a cricket match again taking place, this time in a St. Lucia. So for Grosile, through Thursday, a few brief showers are expected. And then we'll get a tropical wave pushing in some moisture on Friday. So we could be seeing some cloudy damp weather then. And then on Saturday, it turns partly cloudy once more. Obviously, we'll keep you updated as we go through the next uh, few days. Now, there is a bud heading, basically, for the Baja Peninsula of uh, Mexico. It is set to still bring those rough seas and uh, those rip currents, but still bring some downpours along uh, the eastern coastline. And obviously, uh, that means that there is definitely a risk uh, to a property of not only flooding and mudslides, but also some damaging winds as you get near landfall as you go through the Baja Peninsula. But for us here, we should be seeing uh, the last of the showers with some hazy sunshine returning. Thursday. So that's the weather and that's it for me.